Lou. Well, Texas today has obtained some new information about Friday's double homicide in Colleen that left two women dead. Right now, Texas Today reporter Jordan Sarter Francis is live outside the Bell County Jail. And Jordan, you've been tracking this development. What new information have you gathered so far? Good morning, Jasmine. That new information is that the suspect that is booked on capital murder charges on $3 million bail is actually the victim's son and grandson. His name is Lewis Lamar Simpson, and he is booked in the county jail right behind me. They actually caught him on the scene Friday, and they caught him on the scene Friday at the residence when police were called for that domestic dispute. They went inside, and that's where they found Tina McGruden and Diana McGruden. Um, shot, and they weren't killed, just um, shot. And they actually took them to the hospital where they later succumbed to their injuries. I actually had the chance yesterday to go to where Tina worked. She worked as a counselor in Round Rock, Texas. And I got a chance to speak to some of her um, management and some of her coworkers. Take a listen to what they had to say about her. She cared for her country as a soldier. She cared for her community as a counselor, and she cared for her mother as a daughter until the very end. Tina Magruder and her mother, Diana Magruder, were found shot inside a Colleen residence Friday. They later passed in the hospital. She was a, a caring, very um, caring person, very loving. Tina Magruder's office is still the way she left it. Her desk, two chairs, and a couch with plenty of pillows. And for her littlest clients, a plethora of toys. I know for a fact that People loved her, you know, that she was very, again, like, very caring, very emotional, and like understood them. And Tina was on her second career. After two decades in the Army, she was proving that she was the right hire at her new profession. She is not afraid to take on any challenge. Um, she has had amazing uh, communication skills and empathy for clients and um, was really there for the right reasons. When Dr. Brandy Mounts was asked what Tina's right reasons were, she had this to say. And she wanted to give back to the community. So in every way, she was always looking for ways to, to give back to her community. And Now, Jasmine, police are still investigating such specifics like a motive. But like I said, the suspect is in custody and he is now booked in the county jail behind me. Live in Belton, back to you. All right, Jordan, you know, such a sad situation. Definitely want to get some more information about this case. Thank you.